Hi everyone! My name is JJ and today we are going to explore the science of acid and base chemistry using household items. Now what you're going to need to start with is the red cabbage indicator. To make your own red cabbage indicator, all that you need is to take two cups of red cabbage and dice it nice and finely. Next, you're going to add that into a glass container like this and add to it boiling water. You're going to want to let that sit for about 10 minutes. After the cabbage has turned the water a purpley reddish blue color, then you're going to be able to strain the cabbage so that all that you're left with is the water. You'll notice that the color is kind of a purplish blue. It's okay if yours at home is more of a reddish color or a purpley blue color. Any of those are kind of within the range that you want it to be. You can use different items than what I'm using today. In fact, I encourage it. You can get creative and try your own at-home experiment. I'm gonna start with some white wine vinegar and we're gonna add it to this container here. Whoa! That turned a really cool pink color. Next, I'm gonna put some lemon juice in this glass. I'm gonna add some baking soda to this third glass. And lastly, I'm gonna add some Tums and acids. On my right side, you can see that my white wine vinegar and lemon juice turned the red cabbage indicator a pinkish color. Whereas on this side, the baking powder and Tums, they turned it more of a bluish purple color. How did that work? Red cabbage contains a special chemical called anthocyanin, and what that does is it actually interacts with other substances depending on their pH. When we say that something has a high or low pH, we're talking about the level of acidity or basicness that the substance has. If it was something that was more pink, that's going to suggest that it was more of an acid. If, you, if your substance turned the red cabbage indicator more of a bluish purple, that means that it is a base. Here's something that's really cool. I can take something that we know to be an acid, like my white wine vinegar, and I can add it to my baking powder. Take a look at what happens. It bubbles because of the reaction between the vinegar and baking powder, but the color changes as well because we're actually shifting it back to become more neutral. You can experiment with this at home by adding different substances to your red cabbage indicator. Make some predictions and see if your hypotheses were correct. My name is JJ. I hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit about the science of acid and bases. Until next time.